Hi sis, welcome to your quick and general reading. This is for the month of July. I hope you're well. I'd like to welcome all new viewers to my channel, to your reading. So Pisces, because this is a general reading, not every single message is going to resonate with you. So take what resonates and drop the rest. We're going to start with these Oracle cards. I am changing things up a little bit um, for this month. You may, you will see as we go along. So we have, oh, very nice, tranquility and abundance. And this is something coming your way. This is the base energy um, for the month of July. So Pisces, if, if you're interested in a private reading, you can always book a session. The details are below this video on how to book your private reading. Uh, obviously, that's going to be extremely personalized according to your situation. Okay. So let's see what the tarot brings for you, Pisces. We have here the emperor. Oh my goodness. So many signs are getting the emperor card. Um, so many. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, there is a need for, I guess, most of humanity to up-level their self-discipline and self-leadership. That is a masculine energy as well, to up-level their masculine energy so that you can go about achieving whatever it is that you want to achieve in life. All right. One more for Pisces, please. Strongest messages for Pisces. We have here seven of swords. Okay, good. Um, I feel like this is a very revealing card in a way. It's, it's showing that you're either dealing with some dishonesty, uh, that you see in other people, some dishonesty, something that is unethical that is happening and maybe you're not quite happy with it. And the emperor is about, you know, self-leadership and self-discipline. Um, so this is a clarifier for seven of swords. Can we have one more card? Clarifier for seven of swords. What is it that you are actually dealing with? Uh, we have nine of cups there. Okay. I feel like you may be in a situation, Pisces, where you are content where you are. You're feeling quite happy where you are. But there's something really bugging you. Yeah. There's something bugging you about maybe people around you. All right. That that you notice are not entirely honest. Um, they may be, there may be some greed, energies of greed involved, um, but you are, um, it's almost like you, you, you know, you are just, you're just ignoring them. Um, you, maybe a little bit of apathetic feeling towards them, like towards what they're doing. And it's almost like you don't want to have anything to do with it. And you want to maybe a little bit of uh, feelings of conflict because you want to maintain your friendship with them. And that's why you're not saying anything. But I feel like that is creating a block for you because you are not calling them out. All right. Uh, now, obviously, this message is not going to resonate with everyone, but you know, there's a very strong, strong message coming up here where uh, there are people around you that are, you know, maybe they're doing things based on greed. They're doing things that are not ethical or maybe even unhealthy. And you are saying, you know, okay, you, you do your thing right in that corner. I do my thing in my corner and you're feeling quite apathetic about it. But at the same time, you may be feeling very conflicted because you know that you need to do the right thing. Because by keeping quiet about it and not, you know, or, or not even doing anything about it, you are causing yourself the lack of abundance. And so you do need to make a stand. And making a stand, you know, the emperor here is a very strong energy, right? Pisces is telling you that 
you do need to make a stand. Now, making a stand doesn't mean that, you know, you have to confront them. It, it doesn't mean anything like that. Making a stand is like asking yourself, what is it that I really want? Do I want to be associated with people who have this these sort of energies? Um, if I don't want to be associate, associated with that, then I'm going to remove myself from that. Um, then you, you know, you make that conviction as to where you want to go instead. Okay. Um, there's definitely a pool for you to move towards uh, becoming much more independent in the way you think, in the way you operate, and not to fall into the trappings of the, the dishonest dynamics happening around there. Okay. All right. Okay. What else? What else for Pisces? We have the four. Wow, we have four of cups twice. Four of cups twice. It's really saying that you are. Hmm. It's like you know, very very strong force of like, I don't want to get involved. Kind of energy, uh, even though. You know, not wanting to be involved is a form of avoidance. And in the long term, right, this avoidance doesn't really serve you. You actually need to do something about it. Make a stand at least. Wow. Okay. So make a stand. And what is the stand? From the queen of sorts, she is telling you that you need to be honest. So firstly, is self-honesty. Okay. What is it that you are not um, looking at? What is it that you are avoiding? What is it you don't want to see? What is it that you already know, but somehow it just feels too demanding, right? You, you, you feel like you need to support the people involved in this, but you don't have to. You're not obligated to. Mm. Page of Swords asking you to be very vigilant very, very careful to make sure that you don't get dragged into it to examine everything that the, you know, these people, I mean, this could be social or even in the workspace, right? Um, to be very aware that you don't get dragged in. So for example, if someone uh, wants to, you know, maybe to, to create a business, and they need a business partner in name and you you kind of like lend them your name, um, but you're not involved in any shape or form, right? In the running of business, you, you don't get any profits, you get nothing except that you have loaned your name to these people and they may be doing something dishonest, for example. And if you don't examine this closely, you know, I mean, for anything that goes wrong, you are liable for it. Anything that is positive, you don't get anything out of it, right? So, you know, the message is something like that, right? And telling you to be very vigilant, to be very careful. Um, and you do need to stay balanced. You can remain friends without get, getting involved. You can remain in connection with people that you love, that you, that you notice that they are doing things like that. And you don't have to be involved. Because you do have your own source of um, abundance in a way, right? Queen of Pentacles is actually about having faith in your ability and having confidence in yourself. So self-confidence uh, requires some up-leveling. Okay, Pisces? Let's see. What else? What else is... Let me put this back. What else does Pisces need to know for the month of July? All right. So definitely, you do need to align with your higher principles, align with your higher self. Okay, you do need to do that. What are your higher principles? Allow your higher principles to be your guiding light. Okay, and know that the page of pentacles will support you to manifest what it is that you desire in your life. And this is where the abundance come in. And that... You do not necessarily have to play that game of dishonesty with that group of people or situation that you can stand on your own and you'll be fine. Be at peace with yourself. 
what else for Pisces here? Can we have a clarifier for High Priestess and Page of Pentacles for Pisces? Two of Cups, very, very nice. Two of Cups is making a connection with, ah, nice, okay. So this is making a connection with your higher self, right? Is Two of Cups is like, it's like lovers, right? You are connecting with your own high priestess energy. So as long as you are aligning with your spiritual principles, you can't go wrong, right? You need to stay away from energies that promote this honesty or greed. And then we have here, um, you enter this next phase, you know, when you, when you follow your spiritual principles, right? You enter this phase where you feel so inspired and you begin to see new potential for the path ahead this is nice i like this for you pisces all right so pisces if you like the message so far please give me a like and subscribe to my channel i'm gonna pick some inspiring messages for you from the oracle deck and this one fell on my lap best friends okay so it says here true friends stick together no matter what but I'm going to correct that and say that true friends stick together, but if they're doing something illegal, something unethical, no, you, 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 don't stick, you don't stick together, right? You stick with your principles. You stick with your principles, which is your high priestess energy, which is the ace of wands energy. Okay, can we have one more? One more for Pisces, please. wait for winter ah during the colder months the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt desires as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all so whatever it is that you wish to to manifest in abundance then it's going to come during the winter season right this sounds like a good idea let's see uh can we pick one more because this is about timing, but can we have one more inspiring message for Pisces, please? This one flew out. We have here, protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they're safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Very nice. This is about manifesting, right? So Pisces, that's all I have for you today. Do watch out for more readings. I'll be doing more in the month of July. I will see you again. God bless you and namaste.